All right, we are in Grand Central Station, and we are going to check out Midtown Comics East. There's uh, three of them in the city, so Lex and 45th. We're going to check out Midtown Comics East. But let's check out Grand Central here, huh? This is awesome. Look at this. Look how handsome this building is. This is terrific. And the ceiling here used to be all black. They cleaned it off uh, a couple years ago. Now you can see the constellation there. It was all black from the cigarette smoke in the 70s and the 80s. All right, let's go head over to uh, Midtown Comics and we'll see what they got in that place. I think, that, I think they're heavy on statues. So we'll see if we can see some cool statues in there. Let's check it out. Lexington Avenue and 45th Street and we are going to uh, you can see it on the second floor is Midtown Comics all the insignias the Superman sign and still a little jaywalk action here and we will go right into the Midtown Comics here on the side and oh is he going in there too is he a comic guy oh no he's going to the smoke shop he's going to smoke up all right oh we got a little elevator action this is reminding me of the downtown uh, Midtown Comics in the Financial District. And are we safe in here? Alright, Elevator Inspection Certificate is in Midtown Comics. So behind the desk is the certificate. So hopefully it is up to date. We do not have it here in the elevator. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, here's She-Hulk. All right, nice size space. Look at the size of this place. All right. Very roomy. This is reminding me of the downtown uh, Midtown Comics in the Financial District. The layout looks very similar. Got some uh, fridge magnets here. And we got a bunch of graphic novels and trade paperbacks. Look at all these back issues. All right. And look at these statues. Uh, oh, more back issues filling out the whole back of the store. And look at all these cases. These cases are all, they must have just cleaned them. Look how clear they are. It's like we're in there with them. It's like we're statues. It's like we're in the cases. That's how clear it is. All right. Very cool. I like the street as the uh, background, right? The light coming off the street, backlighting the statues. Very cool. Oh, yeah, look at this. Is this Gundam? Oh, it is. Look, Gundam. Look at this. All right, look at this. Awesome, man. Planet Hulk. This statue is huge. And we got uh, Cheetah. A little Cheetah action here. She's large, too. I guess for the Wonder Woman movie, they were preparing for her... To sell like crazy, huh? Those statues on the top are humongous. All right, they have a nice statue presentation here. Nice back man there. It said, do not touch. No touchy. No touchy, touchy. All right, should we dig in these back issues? We don't have time. All right, there's a whole section here of uh, manga. And there's a whole series of Akira, and they have Attack on Titan. Look at this. Beautiful. And they have Berserk. And Classroom. Classroom was a hit this year. Right? Look at all these uh, manga books here. And some of these are in uh, pristine format, right? Prestige format. All right. And then we have a going. Look at all these back issues for you guys. Okay, so always saying you like the back issues. All right, now we got a ton of trade paperbacks, aisles of graphic novels, and omnibus. So they are well stocked here. 
And here are all the new books wrapping around the uh, side of the store here, taking up the whole wall. All the new books, they are stocked. Let's go to the other side so we can uh, get away from the customers here. We'll start on this side. I think in the corner, it looks like there's a magazine section. All right, here's a magazine section and some posters and some t-shirts. I guess these are prestige format also, like black label size. And Red Room was over there. All right, and they got a nice little, there's all the new issues out. Nice spinner rack, like if you got spinner rack home, right? And we got Suitman uh, 78, cool book. We got Lex on the cover there. And the last, oh, look at the last Ronins. I guess you, a lot of the guys missed number one, right? So now they reprinted number one, it's all over the place. There's a healthy amount of number ones out there now, the reprints. So there's no excuse for you guys not to catch up. That's a uh, excellent read, the last Ronin. Look at this cool book. Stray Dogs Free Comic Book Day book. And this thing is getting great reviews, right? Uh, was it Echo Lens? It's printed sideways. And they're saying the art in this is just absolutely spectacular. I should grab this, right? But it says Echo Lens Raw Cut. Is that the same thing as the first one? Number one? It says number one, but it says Raw Cut. Is that like Director's Cut? Did I miss the first print? Is that what happened? Did I miss it? This is supposed to be good too, right? A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. It's supposed to be uh, awesome. Maybe I'll grab that. Cool little indie. And up top, they have some cool uh, new modern books, but they are priced more than cover. And we have a little 99 section uh, here. Back issue blowout, 99 cents dollar books. Maybe we'll pull some of these out. Looks like Batman Rebirth. All right, a little penguin action. Looks like Batman Rebirth uh, section here. And, oh, Black Manta. Didn't this just come out like last month? All right, we got a nice view up here, right? We're not too high, we're not too low. Nice elevated view of Lexington Avenue. All right, and the, uh, oh, here we go. This is what we don't see. We don't see a lot of merchandise. We don't see a lot of merch. Here's a little Deathstroke mug. Pretty cool, right? And the front had a cool uh, wall. Maybe we should check out the wall. By the uh, cash register. Uh, buy these books, and maybe we'll check out the wall they got. And they got a bunch of Funko Pop here. And other tchotchkes, magnets. Oh, awesome. They have all the zero Batman Zero Point, Batman Fortnite Zero Point. They got all the first prints here. Look at this. They are no longer cover. Wow, these are like $20, $10. This thing was awesome. I don't know if you guys read this. I got a review of this coming out, so check out my uh, channel page. And I'm going to review that. All right, here's some of the uh, wall books. We had some Superboy there, right? There's got to be a bunch of uh, Midtown exclusives on here also, right? All right, some more t-shirts. Some more statues as we leave here. One last cabinet here. All right, I tried to make that quick. I don't want to go in the stores uh, too long, right? So here's some t-shirts. Here's what you don't see. You don't see merch. All right, Midtown Comics coffee mugs. All right, and uh, and T-shirts and beer glasses, right? You got pints. Put your pint in a Midtown Comics uh, glass. All right, we can hear the street outside. Very cool. Here's the three locations: Times Square, Grand Central, downtown, and there's also one in Astoria, which is more like a warehouse. You can hear the street outside, the street noise. I'll see you guys next time.